shall never forget her, my first wife, the colonel's daughter. I met her when I was stationed at Val Goose, near Uganda. I was sitting on the slope of my copy, drinking a glass of iced tiffin, and idly swishing away the cobras in my jam box. Suddenly, through the fetid or fetid air, I heard the unmistakable honk-honk of my colonel's camel. Hastily, I got myself by the shorts. It was very hot weather. Stood up, adjusted my Sam Brown, and tuned in to him. Round the corner galloped the colonel's daughter, and on it the colonel's camel. Uh, I mean the other way round. Deftly, she slung her leg over the rear hump and jumped off, breaking both ankles, which I quickly mended, of course. Your second lieutenant expecting promotion, Snootle, she lisped. Very bad, though. I am, I answered, and looked at her. I saw a slip of a girl. Poor oh, dress was so thin, I couldn't help seeing a slip of a girl. At your service, I went on. That's not what I want, she lisped again. It was awful. My pater, she said, lapsing into Latin. I found later she was always either lisping or lapsing. Of course, I preferred it, and she lapsed. <laughs> My pater asked me to warn you that your camp is likely to be attacked tonight by the Popos. He sent me because his orderly is in bed with chilblains. What about the telephone, I asked, going towards it. The wire's been curt with that cut reply. I pulled my wire out from the bureau and found that she spoke the truth. I muttered a terrible word under my breath, but not under the mouth, she heard. All right, she laughed, I'll stay. I blew my pea broth. I was with the Scottish regiment at the time, and my platoon was quickly to hand. Sam Brown had stopped singing. We were listening to chamber music. The Popos are attacking tonight, boys, I told them all. Be ready. Dismiss. Prunella smiled. It was terrible. We were alone at last. She put on her gas mask. She looked wonderful. I took her in my arms and bungalow and everything. Colonel's daughter or no colonel's daughter, I crooned. I love you. She kissed me with her gas mask on. It was most uninteresting. She took it off. Too late. Ping! A Popo had drawn a bird adventure and missed. I had a blow through my peat rock again. The enemy was or were upon us. The platoon retreated in extended order. Cruella and I stayed where we were in extended order. Tirata. What did it matter? A few months later, we were found, Cruella and I, locked in each other's arms. Someone unlocked us and took us to the colonel. Are your intentions honourable? He barked. And then suddenly I realised that they hadn't been. I suppose so, I mumbled wearily. So we were married by the Reverend Charlie the Chaplain and came through an archway of cross bagpipes to face the world as man and wife. I forgot to say that we stuffed uh, the colonel's camel and kept it in the drawing room. Prunel often used to climb on it and shout in pokerese, hooch, hooch, bum, bum. In translated means, God, ain't it lovely. God, ain't it lovely. And one day, one day she died of heat bumps. She was always up to scratch, suddenly tickled to death. Heat bumped off. Oh, I shall never forget her, though. My first wife, the colonel's daughter. Oh, I must go and have a cut off the joint, I suppose. Goodbye, boys. Oi, listen. We know that women suffer, and they tell us now and then. Maybe I seem a duffer to wonder why they envy men. For in their hours of pleasure, women have the gain of achieving much more pleasure than the men, as well as pain. I'd rather be a woman than a man. I'd rather be a master than a slave. I'd give a thousand dollars not to wear these ties and collars, and I'd rather have a makeup than a shave. I don't know why dressmakers sew those hooks and eyes that bust. Or why the little press studs go on which they place their trust. They're nothing to the buttons, though, that we've got to adjust. I'd rather be a woman than a man. I'd rather be a woman than a man. I'd rather be the drummer than the drum. I hate the way folks snigger at the shaping of my figure. And I'd rather have a stay belt than a tum. Men must sow and women reap at which they're quite adept. Through thinking what I've got to keep for nights I haven't slept But I'm quite sure that I could sleep if I were being kept So I'd rather be a woman than a man I'd rather be a woman than a man I'd rather be the Kelka than the shows Whatever is inspiring the desires that I'm desiring I'd rather be proposed to than propose When they undress our hearts they win we're conquered by a glance when we undress our loved one's grin, we almost lose our chance. But we look simply dreadful in a shirt and underpants. I'd rather be a woman than a man. Men must work while women peeping. Through tear-laden eyes just lurk. Well, I'd sooner do the weeping and let others do the work. When the population's growing through a larger family boost, it's the roost that does the crowing, but the hen that rules the roost. I'd rather be a woman than a man. I'd rather be the altar than the pew. They say what men keep doing often leads to women's ruin, but I'd rather be the done to than the do. Girls get taken out by men, but still think they're immune when asked for something now and then. It's never opportune. 
I'm tired of paying the piper when they always call the tune. So I'd rather be a woman than a man. I'd rather be a woman than a man. I'd rather stay at home when war is brisk. But if the foe get cruder and their methods get still ruder, well, I'd rather be a whack and take the risk. I own a house, that's why I'm pale. The rent just turns me gray. Too close to any wind I'd sail if I could find the way To own a flat in Maida Vale for which I need not pay Oh, I'd rather be a woman than a man I'd rather be a woman than a man I'd rather be a hand clap than a hiss Oh, when I think of blossoms wilted And the spinsters and the jilted I'd rather wish I hadn't written this the thought of women makes me choke the pain that they have stood For any decent sort of bloke they'd suffer if they could So this song was written as a joke, I'm not the kind who would Rather be a woman than a man I wouldn't rather be a woman than a man I heard about the chap who met a girl the other day, he said I'm a man of few words, yes or no And she said you talked me into it <laughs>